Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create simple form by using web form module. In previous video, we have seen about how to install web form module and now we are going to uh, create a simple web form with the help of your web form module. So structure, go to structure and then web forms. Here by default, it will be having a contact form. So if you want to add new, you can add here. So this is event registration form and then save it. So once you saved, you will be redirected to uh, build a tab of your form where you can add elements inside it. Elements is nothing but in content that you are adding fields, right? In the same way, in a web form, you are going to add elements. First, I'm going to add a field of text field. So, which is first name here. It's first name. And save it. The next one is text field and this is last name you can you can make your uh, validation like whether it should be required or not or unique value you can do whatever and then save it and next, I'm going to add an email field. Email. Save and add an element. Next is telephone. Phone. Add. Address is permanent address again one more address this temporary address. Scroll down and save it. So now I created a list of fields uh, elements here. One is first name, last name, email, phone, and address, permanent and temporary address. When you click on this view, here you will be able to see all the forms of whatever you mentioned you have created, all will be listed here. So first name you can give email. Email, give email, phone number, and address. State, and then again one more address field. Give state and submit. Once you submit it, it will be redirected to a confirmation page. And from here, you can go back to your form by clicking on this. And there will be one more tab called test. You can click on the test. So test will help when you do the development. Uh, each time of uh, giving value for each field is uh, sometimes uh, irritating for you to uh, submit a form. So when you click on test, it will pre-populate your form with default values. When you refresh each time, you will have different value for your form, okay? So you can just submit it. And then once you submitted all your forms, you can go to results, where you can see all the submissions, whatever we have done before. And when you click on downloads, here you can download all your web form datas. 
Once you click, it will be downloaded as a CSV format. You can open and check your web form data. So whatever we have submitted. Okay. And then next, you know, there will be one more tab called clear. So you can clear all the submission if you want. So just click on this and then click on clear. So you can see all the submissions will be clear. Okay, and that's it. This is how you have to create a very simple basic form by using your web form module. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.